Hi, this is Dr. Otis Williams of The Temptation. Happy New Year, everyone, and I hope everyone is staying safe. I have some amazing news. Our number one hit, Just My Imagination Running Away With Me, hey, is 50 years old. Can you believe that? I'm singing something that's almost as old as I am, but I love it because you all love it, and because of you, that's why we're still doing it. I have some amazing stories to tell about that record. I don't know where to begin, but I got to begin somewhere. So I'm going to start off by saying this. The producer, Norman Whitfield, he would always come by my house. And this was in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And he would say, hey, man, check this here track out. You know, I got this here song and I think really it's going to be a hit. So he let me hear the track to just my imagination. And now this is before we put the voices on. So later on that evening, we went in the studio. Now, what you all didn't know, we would go in the studio at seven o'clock in the evening. We would not come out until one or two o'clock the next morning. That's just the background. Eddie Kendricks, who did a wonderful job of putting the lead on. So I said, Eddie, I'll talk with you tomorrow. Now it was about two o'clock in the morning when the temps were leaving, leaving Eddie Kendricks there. there. So I called Eddie the next morning, about eight or nine o'clock the next morning. And Eddie said, hey man, I'm just getting in. I said, Eddie, you have been at the studio all the time? He said, you know how normal Whitfield is. And that was the thing that we would have to deal with, with Norman, because he, be, he would take each one of us, if we had a lead to do, he was very meticulous. So we did the background, Eddie did the lead. Now they released the record, and uh, the record jumped to number one. We sold over two million copies. You know, but there's some sad parts about just my imagination that, uh, you know, I want to share with you. You know, if and when you should ever see The Temptation sing Just My Imagination on Ed Sullivan, I saw it and I was very down, let down, because you could see five guys that was unhappy. Here we had a number one record, sold over two million copies, but we were very unhappy at that time. And that's shortly after that, uh, Eddie Kendricks went on his own. And then we had to find a young man by the name of Damon Harris. But just my imagination was so huge that even when we do it today, the fans, they would start applauding and really letting us know that they really loved that song. So when uh, Norman brought the song by my house after we put the voices on, it was a beautiful string arrangement, which I love. A uh, young man by the name of Jerry Long, which I haven't seen uh, in quite some time, but he did a beautiful job of arranging the strings to just my imagination. And when I heard us sing it, and then when I heard the strings, I said, man, I think we got something. And when I listened to Paul Williams do that every night on my knees, I pray, Paul did it with such a wonderful feel that it almost kind of touched the soul, the spirit, because he had that kind of expression in his uh, delivery when he was saying ordinarily. But Paul, uh, you know, like I said, did such a beautiful job that uh, when Terry do it now, people would even applaud for Terry because that line that Paul did was so touching and memorable that uh, it's become like a mainstay part of the song, which it is a mainstay. But my girl, I meant sorry, uh, just my imagination was number one in quite a few chart records, you know, uh, positions on Billboard, Cashbox, and all the noted uh, musician uh, publications as far as record sales. And, uh, you know, it's just something that when I listen at it, it still touched me because I think about a lot of things that we went to, uh, went through. And like I said, it was number one across the board and it stayed up at number one for quite some time. But that wasn't the first number one record that we had. We had My Girl was the number one record. I think I Wish We Rain got pretty close to number one. So historically, the Temptations have been blessed with a lot of big hit records. But whenever we do Just My Imagination, it would always get such a wild and wonderful applause and a oohs and ahs. And I remember, I remember that you know, song with the audience would look at us so endearing that, you know, it, you can tell that they love that song as well as they love um, My Girl. But, uh, you know, so there's a lot of wonderful things uh, about uh, Just My Imagination that happened. But the sad part about it, that was Eddie Kendrick's last song that he performed with The Temptations. We uh, had the pleasure of singing with Eddie uh, years later when we did Standing on the Top. You know, but as far as 
being in the temptation, being in the temptation, that was his last uh, big record, you know, with the temptation. And fortunately, it still went to number one, even after Eddie Kendrick's left, you know. So a uh, great experience. But can you imagine, like I said earlier, we are singing a song that's over 50 years old. Like my girl, over 50 years old. You know, I wish it would rain over 50 years old. I never would imagine that we would have such a wonderful, wonderful uh, plethora of hits like we uh, have had and hope to continue on with the kind of fans that we have. But just my imagination, I wouldn't doubt if in time that would become like my girl. I have since been told that my girl has become uh, a standard. And uh, I can believe that because one time I was out and I heard uh, the great singer uh, Tony Bennett. So we were out and, you know, eating and I heard, uh, I said, that sounds like Tony Bennett. Oh, wait a minute, is Tony Bennett singing My Girl? I said, well, I'll be doggone. When you get a Tony Bennett singing My Girl, and even, even if he should sing Just My Imagination, your song have arrived. You know, so we are very blessed and happy that we have had so many hit records that now that some of our songs have begin beginning to become hits. Uh, not only hits, I'm sorry, but standards. So all because of you being such a wonderful fan base, you know, uh, that we have had and still having a very historic uh, time in our lives. We're getting ready to do our 60th uh, um, LP, and it'll be out later on this year, but I never would imagine that uh, we would be singing songs that's been around uh, that long, still being loved, and now we're getting ready to do our 60th uh, uh, album. So it's just a great blessing to have songs that people have really uh, become very, you know, in love with and bring back a lot of memories. Just my imagination, you know. And when I listen to Just My Imagination, you know, we didn't get fancy with a whole lot of riffs in that. We kept it like like we say in the studio, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid, you know. And that's the those are the kind of songs that really can become hits because you're singing it where the fans and, uh, well, you know, the fan base can sing right along with us rather than trying to get slick and do a whole lot of riffs and all that because, you know, we can do that, but some songs you have to sing very plaintive. And we did that with uh, Just My Imagination because it was that kind of song that would cross over. I never knew that Just My Imagination would become such a huge hit. But then again, after I heard what Jerry Long did uh, with uh, the string arrangement, I mean, I, when I heard the string arrangement, I thought it should become part of a movie. Beautiful arrangement, you know, and I just got through talking to the great Barrett Strong. Now, Barrett Strong was the lyricist of the uh, Norman Whitfield and Barrett, and uh, he's out here in L.A., and I told him, I said, hey, Barrett, we're getting ready to do uh, uh, social media about just my imagination because it's 50 years old. And he said, wow, man, really? He said, what can I see? I said, social media, you'll be able to check it out. So uh, the great Barrett Strong, who penned the lyrics, is still with us, and him and I grew up together. If you want to know more about uh, just uh, the Temptations and just my imagination, Barrett Strong and I used to live across the street from each other on the north end uh, section of Detroit, Michigan. And thank God he's still with us. We lost our producer, uh, Norman Whitfield, a few years ago. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of history within the Temptations, Motown, and a lot of the great writers that we've encountered. So I do hope you will enjoy uh, listening to Just My Imagination because it is truly, truly one of my favorites. We hope you enjoy. All right. See you later. Go on.